Black Oni. Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everybody? We're not gonna waste too much time. We're just gonna jump right in. I've been waiting for this game for a long, 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 long time, and I was honestly, I was kind of boycotting the game because I knew they were gonna pull some. Um, I knew they were gonna pull some BS with this, uh, with the online lobby system. I knew that they were going to do that, and I'm unfortunately correct in my assumption that that would happen now whether or not they've changed some things based on the feedback i don't know i hope 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 that they did but there's no guarantee of that and i'm just going to do everything that i can to um to just enjoy the game for what it is even though i know the lobby system is going to be horrendous um and for anyone who's wondering what i'm talking about Arc system tends to make their lobby systems way more complicated than they ever need to be. For example, if I jump on Street Fighter V or Mortal Kombat 11 and say I want to invite a bunch of people from the community, Robotosta, let's say I want to invite you to my game. On those games, I would just make a lobby and then invite you to it using the interface and then that, that would be it. It would be done. And at the very least, sometimes these games will allow you to just not even make a lobby. You would just literally go play online and then click on who you want to join, and then it'll automatically make a lobby for you. In Arc System games, you are basically represented as a character, as a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not not just a character, a little a little, you know what I mean. A little character. You run around and you go to physical locations on a map in order to engage in those specific things. So instead of just looking at a menu system, very quickly and instantly clicking on what it is that you want to go to, you have to travel. You have to move around a map in order to do that. And then the person that you want to play with has to dedicate that time to go on the correct server and then locate you. On the correct server, so there's 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 a huge disconnect in terms of the ease of use of getting people together on those fight on Arc System fighting games. I have no idea if they've improved this in any way. I'm 99% sure they didn't do anything to improve it since their last beta. I didn't play the last beta, uh, mostly because I was boycotting the game. But I'm only boycotting the game because they're trying to make it more difficult to do these very basic things on this game that in all oh, fucking Christ, in all honesty, the games that they make are excellent. This is probably the first time that they've uh, they've really seriously looked at their online infrastructure and in making rollback netcode a priority. The first time that Arc Systems has has done that, and I'm happy as hell to hear that. I'm still disappointed to see what I saw of the lobby system. It's horrendous. It is absolutely horrendous. Like the two, the two D pixel sprites. No one asked for any of this. No one asked for a single one of these things. Not a fan. Not any fans asked for this. I understand that there's a vision that developers have for their product, but at the same time, if your vision conflicts with usability and the actual user experience people will tell you people will make that well known i hate it absolutely hate it i know they're trying to do something new and revolutionary but this isn't something you don't you don't make a you don't make a new octagonal shaped wheel just because you've made it something different and new it doesn't work that's not what people want. It's not what people need in their experience. So don't literally reinvent the wheel when it comes to these very basic infrastructures. Just don't. 